Hi everybody, we're back with another edition of Beauty and the Derm. Today we decided to show you some of our favorite things from our own medicine cabinets. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a reveal and then talk about each thing individually. Yes, sounds okay. good. So you ready for number one? Yes. Not in well, any particular I, I order. Do yeah, do, do your, do your, you have a little funny secret that yeah. happened. Okay. okay, so ready? Yes. One, two, three. Bang. All right, so tell me about yours. So this is an at-home laser hair removal product. Um, device, yeah. Device, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> um, I, I wanna say I got this at Ulta, but I might have got it at Nordstrom. Okay. I don't know, one or the other. Um, so, and it's called what? It's called Silk and Freedom. Um, the thing that's cool about this is you can raise the level or like lower it depending on what your hair type is. So like for me on like my arms or my legs, I have like white hair. So it's not gonna work as well in like areas right. like that, but if you use it for your armpits, you use it in areas where you have darker hair, it'll work for something like that. Um, for the longest time I had this and I wouldn't use it because I tried it once and I didn't realize it's like little shocks. Yeah, it feels like little stings. Yeah, terrifying. I didn't know that that was gonna <laughs> happen, so that was alarming. Um, but yeah, after I was like, okay, now I know what it is, but you can't use it um, if you're exposed to the sun. Correct. So. So this is actually a really good point because at-home light devices are now available for things from rejuvenation all the way to hair removal. And it's not technically a laser, um, it's a light-based device. So you wanna be careful. The ideal person is somebody who's really fair and has dark hair. If you're somebody who's my skin tone, there is a higher risk of a device like this giving you some thin burning on the skin, so you really wanna be careful about that. Mm -hmm. The other thing is that it does feel like a snap against your skin. Mm -hmm. You never wanna do it when you're actively tan, and then you don't wanna do it unless the hair is actually long enough to capture part of that light. It is something that is going to need multiple treatments. You don't want to shave or you don't want to wax or do a depilatory before you do it. You can shave before you do it, um, but you don't want the hair to be too long. Otherwise, it singes the hair also, and then that can give you a burn on your skin. I actually didn't know any of that, which is kind of scary. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> but it's one of your favorite devices. It is one of my favorites. And, and I'm a fan, and I think um, laser hair removal or light-based hair removal at home has come a long way, and yeah. so I don't think this is a bad product at all. Cool. Um, I will show you mine. So mine is um, number seven. It's Boots. I actually got this when I was traveling abroad. Turns out that Boots number seven has different products abroad, obviously, than mm -hmm. they do in the United States. But this one is their mascara. By the way, Boots is like my favorite it's, store. It's actually, so. yeah, yeah, it's a fabulous store. And this number seven line, the reason I like uh, this one is because, now I'm gonna talk about this in a totally non-medicine way, but the curve of the brush is really nice. And um, there are there's a patented formula in it which actually helps automatically curl the lashes a bit. So you don't have to do a lot, and when you put on multiple coats, it doesn't make it all clumpy. Mm. But speaking of curling, my ultimate number one thing is my eyelash curler. I'm obsessed with my Shui Yamira eyelash curler. I don't think they make this one anymore. I got it at a duty-free store. But the reason I like to talk to people about this is because we all love curling eyelashes, or at least I feel like a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. But you can actually create a lot of damage on your eyelashes if you do it the wrong way. So you always wanna make sure you have that cushion pad there. And when you press, you don't want to press and squeeze because that's going to actually damage your lashes. You kind of want to like pump gently and then give it that curl and then apply your mascara. Mm -hmm. Would you say that's right? Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. And I know some people who actually, it kind of drives me a little bit crazy. They'll put the mascara on first and then curl it after, but it's like your mascara can already be drying up and Correct. so you're going to actually crack your lashes and <laughs> makes me cringe. Yeah. See that? Don't so do now it. you got you had the beauty with the derm device, yeah. and you had the derm with the beauty yeah, device. That's how that works. <laughs> All right. So here is number two. Okay. Ready? Go. We both picked the same one. <laughs> <laughs> so that really says weird. a lot for yeah. this product. So yeah. go ahead and talk about it. Okay. So you actually gave this to me months ago, um, and when I use it consistently, I haven't been lately because I've been so lazy. So don't yell at me. Um, but when I do use it consistently, there's nothing that fixes my skin as quickly as this fixes my skin between tone breakouts, like everything, texture. It just it just makes it 
significantly better very fast. I agree, and I think we are slowly morphing into the same person yeah. because I also was gonna say, so this is the SkinCeuticals Retexturizing Activator. Yeah, um, nice it's a <laughs> bifunctional resurfacing serum, and what that means is that it doesn't dry you out too much. So, like our beauty, I too don't do my skincare routine all the time. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm okay. not feeling But see, like, I have these, like, little bumps under my eyes yeah, here. Same. See? They make same. me crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the reality is, is that if I stay on top of them, they disappear when I use this product. When I don't do it, mm, yeah, yeah, for sure, it I've noticed my skin back. went back to the normal way that it usually is, which is not that great. After I, like, took a break from it, I was like, oh. Yeah, and so then you realize, you're like, like, oh, I yeah, need that. Yeah. So, a it's definite, so good. the fact that both of us chose it, we didn't even realize, yeah. something that's a must-get. Pretty funny. I thought that was good. Okay, now you get your last one. Mine's a Yours splurge. A splurge. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, two three. three. Bang. All right, so tell me about yours. So, mine is an anti-stress microwavable neck pillow. This is from Earth Therapeutics um, Mind and Body Therapy. Um, I feel like and I need has, that right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. So, it has lavender and chamomile in it. If you feel it, it's actually quite heavy. Oh, yeah. Um, so, it kind of reminds me of a weighted blanket, but for your neck. And not in a way that's going to just push you down, but it actually just like is really comforting. It almost feels like somebody's hugging you. Um, I really like it. I actually sprinkle some of my essential oils in it as well because over time the lavender and the chamomile is not going to last forever. And, um, wait, and so do you microwave it? Mm -hmm. or Okay, yeah. for how long? I usually do like 45 seconds. Okay, nice. I think they recommend 30 seconds, but I like to burn myself. So. <laughs> She's kidding yeah. about that. I'm totally, I'm totally joking. I do that. <laughs> so, and then how long do you leave it on? I will leave this thing on for like 15 minutes like I do kind of when I'm just like sitting in bed I don't like to leave it on if I have to like sit up perfectly straight because then it can just feel like it's weighing yeah. me down but like I'm just like kind of relaxing then it's just like really really nice so you combine both a little bit of massage almost along with aromatherapy and you're good to go yeah I feel like I need that and look it's got a great traveling case yeah it's perfect so I'm bringing it with me this weekend yeah all right so mine is a splurge and I am not somebody who likes to spend a lot of money on things. Mm -hmm. But my brother actually got me this Dyson uh, dryer, and it's called the Air Wrap. And I got the one from the Dyson um, demo store that's in Manhattan. And it came with all the pieces, and I thought to myself, am I actually gonna use this? But what I realized is that I'm obsessed with it <laughs> in a way that's probably not normal. And I have all these hair tools. A, I'm like really not good at doing my hair. B, I don't have time. C, nonetheless, I buy all these things that promise me that I will have beautiful curls and full body hair. And they were just taking up all this space in my bathroom. Like literally, I probably have over the years collected like 15 different hair styling mm -hmm. machines. I was able to get rid of every single one of them. And I only use this. But I use this not only to blow dry my hair, it takes no time at all, but I also use it to hack face masks that require a lot of drying time. But we'll Which post, is awesome. We'll post a different video about that one day. Yeah, <laughs> that's so cool. That's such um, a smart idea. So the thing is, is this does do it by convection um, heat. So it's not like heat less, and though it is less damaging than blow drying your hair every day um, on super high heat, there, it's still blow drying your hair, so it's not like it's doing nothing. However, it's much safer and better for your hair than regular sort of nozzle plus mm -hmm. that straightening thing and just like, you know, right. going like this. So this saves me a ton of time. And I always tell women because we tend to hem and haw and think of a million other ways to spend that money rather than doing like one thing really good for ourselves. Mm -hmm. But your time has some value. Yeah, so a lot. <laughs> if you spend. 15 minutes every morning doing your hair, and let's say you ascribe $10 to that 15 minutes, in a short period of time, you'd make all your money back with this thing because it saves you that much time. Yeah, that's awesome. That's something that I definitely need because I spend way too much time on my hair to the point where it's just annoying and I won't do it, right. which I don't want to like, I want to do my hair. I like yeah. doing my hair. Yeah. You know, I like feeling good about that. So I either won't do it or I'll do it and I'm just like frustrated. And so. this feels like a salon blowout yeah, and it lasts yeah. several days. So that's was also awesome. good for your hair because you don't have to wash it as much and it doesn't get as dry. So multiple good things about the Dyson. Although it might be a little heavy on the bank account. But 
that initial, I, I have a feeling like, I know um, some hair dryers and stuff like that that I have, like they've lasted me forever. Yeah, I mean, I so, can't imagine like, this thing yeah, ever going down. Yeah, right? so it's, it's worth it. It's worth that initial splurge. So thank you, Dyson. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed our own medicine cabinet finds and we will see you soon with another episode of Beauty in the Derm. Bye guys.